All right, uh, Nelson and I are going to role play a, an effective but fairly short qualifying or needs assessment session. In fact, we're going to put the clock on it. It should run somewhere between five and six minutes. But we'll show you the clock when we're done. So, you know, a lot of people think these things take too long, but it is the single most important step in the sales process. So I don't think spending five or six minutes on it is too bad. So I'm talking to the audience right, right now. Okay. Um, where is my clock here? Okay, um, Nelson, what I'd like to do with you right now is, uh, is ask some questions. Um, if you can be as accurate as possible, this will help me get you the information that you're looking for as soon as possible. Fair enough? Yeah. Okay, um, what are you driving right now? Uh, 2008 Cadillac CTS. Okay. Nice vehicle. Um, how many miles? Uh, around 55,000. Okay, did you buy that new or used? Uh, used. Okay. Uh, would you consider selling it to us? If the price is right. Um, as well it should be. Okay. Understand that. Uh, what have you liked most about the Cadillac? Um, basically, I like the looks of it, for sure. Okay. And um, also the durability of it. Okay. So styling and durability are important to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is your, what is your uh, current, why does your current vehicle no longer meet your needs? Um, basically, I'm trying to expand my family, and I definitely need a bigger car to do so. Grown family. Okay. Well, congratulations. I was there one time a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. So, um, growing family, so uh, more room and uh, certainly safety and dependability. Yes. Okay. Good. Room, safety, dependability. Now, why are you looking for another vehicle at this particular time? It's one of those, um, it's the right time for it. I don't want to buy one when it's too late. <laughs> okay, so you want to, you're proacting to uh, a growing family. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good, good, smart man. Uh, the monthly payment that you're currently uh, paying? I look at about 320. 320, okay. Now, um, tell me what you've uh, liked or disliked about your shopping experience so far, anywhere you've been. Um, at other dealerships, um, I won't say any names, but that dealership that was a little too pushy. Um, it's one of those, I'm more of a laid back kind of guy. So. Okay. <laughs> hey, we get it. Um, have you been on the internet? I have not. I okay. And how many other dealerships have you visited? About two. Two? A Honda, Toyota? No, a Honda and Toyota. Okay, Honda and Toyota. Okay. All right. Um, who will be, be the primary driver of this vehicle? Uh, me. Okay, that's Nelson. All right. Uh, describe a day in your vehicle's life, if, you'd be, if you would. Um, Typical day. Basically wake up in the morning, go to work, drive about 20 miles to work. 20 miles um, to and fro? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you use it on the weekends? Or? I just go to my in-law's house. They about six miles away. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Well, I say that's good. I hope it's good. <laughs> right. So the in-laws are close. It's just far enough. <laughs> uh, okay, I hear you. Um, will there be any special use to this vehicle? Towing, long trips, uh, things like that? No, sir. Okay. Um, have you decided on a specific vehicle yet? I'm um, in between the Outback and the Forcer. Okay. And a lot of our customers are, as a matter of fact. Um, what two or three things have led you to believe that these vehicles would be the right vehicles for you, one or the other? Um, basically, um, a family friend. Okay. Um, I've seen it on TV. Um, those are really the only two I've seen on TV. My family friend, she's... Okay. Really what would you like about them? The, the Forest or the Outback or either one of them? The safety. The safety aspect of them. Uh, I'd say they're very safe. Aren't those... Uh, Commercial school well, where they, are. they live. They <laughs> yeah. Lived, yeah. <laughs> okay. Safety. Um. They obviously give you a little more room. Mm -hmm, definitely. Okay. And we'll get into dependability in a little bit. Now, on um, this next part, it would probably be be, be better if you did it. Um, I'm going to ask you to look at these different considerations: uh, styling, luxury, status, safety, security, convenience, um, performance, power, economy, cost to own, dependability, reliability, and just go through here and circle. You know, one is least important to you. Five is most important to you. Yeah. And then once you've done that, go ahead and list the top three. All right. Okay?
Okay? All right, and out here, um, I, got, I put budget. Mm -hmm. Where would budget fit in here? Would budget be at the top, meaning you're terribly budget conscious, or would budget be at the bottom, meaning you got all the money in the world and the price <laughs> don't matter? I would say about right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. All right, so you budgeted, um, you're at three twenty a month right now. I'm going to guess you budgeted four twenty, four fifty a month for the next car? Exactly. Okay. Very good. Um, Nelson, I got your name here. Um, your cell phone number? 9678-896-6004. Mm -hmm. All right, notice how I don't ask uh, Nelson for any personal information. I was, you know, I, the blanks in here say cell phone, work phone, home phone. Uh, email address. I didn't ask him for those at first. I wanted to build some rapport by going through a, you know, a nice uh, conversation as opposed to interrogation. That's why I put this at the bottom of this sheet.